Hey everybody, it's Benji, better known as Sierra, and I just wanted to give everybody an update on like what's been going on in my life and stuff like that because you know, as us human beings, things can take a turn. So, um, last year, you know, it was, I would say a great year because like I went in and I accomplished some things, which is always good, but it could have been better. But anyway, so, um, last year, as you guys may or may not know, I started working um, and then, you know, a lot of the things that really took off, took off and stuff like that, which was great and that was cool. And then, you know, I had some other twists and turns and stuff like that, which was not so cool, but I guess whatever. Um, so, last but not least, like right before the year's end, I had just um, got a job with this um, telemarketing company. And things were pretty cool, you know. Um, I was like finally getting the swing of things and then bam, I was only working there about no more than less than a week and not even a week barely a week but anyway um they decided to let me go and i was just like so like wow you know i thought this was going to be like you know my new year's so going to the new year with a new job woo -woo. but no that didn't happen so i was really like upset and i was just like wow you know as soon as things started to pick up or whatever you know i'm right back down and i think that's about how I want to approach this video is knowing that life isn't something you should really be comfortable with because once you get really comfortable I think setting your ways and stuff like that that's when things slowly but surely starts to you know strip away from you and that's something you don't want to do I think as a human being you should always be growing and evolving I'm not saying doing a million things and things like that but I just think as a foundation that you're setting up for yourself it should always be a constant reminder like I don't want to get too comfortable because getting too comfortable can easily take this away from me take that away from me etc etc and I think as I've gotten older, I realize how those things have, you know, twisted and turned in a way that hasn't also favored me so much. So I just really want, you know, that to really be something that people really focus on is the fact that being too caught up in everything else around you can sometimes distract you way too much to the point where, you know, distractions are easily your best friend. Only because, you know, what happens is when you're just a person and you're growing and you're involved and you're like okay I can do this I can do that but then these distractions end up becoming your best friend because they're the ones that's pulling you away from what you really need to be doing and that takes a lot of time and effort to, to take away to do something completely different and I think you know as you get older you realize how these things have really like put you in a, a certain place of, of good or bad you know either way but it's just always about being a constant reminder of not being comfortable, complacent, and like I just stated, distractions can be your best friend only because like it can either work out good for you, it can work out bad for you, and you know, so happily, you know, things can either take its turn either way. So I just really want people to know like how to move forward and pass those things. I think it's first and foremost just setting a plan and a goal. And even though a lot of people say you shouldn't plan too much because when you plan too much then things end up not working out. But I think if you make like a, I guess an overview plan or something light, then you know that barely just touches the surface then you can know how to, you know, proceed into that direction and make sure that it's something that you can actually live by and do and wanna do because like I said, distractions are your best friend. So it's just that easy and simple. So, um, quickly but shortly, I wanted to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel over the past year. I think it's been, it will be just about a year since I did my last video, which is the ultimate fool. You know, I just think I got caught up in my distractions and things like that only because I was trying to put myself in a better situation and things like that. And I end up slowly but surely taking time away and away and away for, for doing videos. I have always been doing videos consistently like for quite some time now, but I just, I, I, I like I said, I wanted it to be real. And if it ain't gonna be real, then I really don't wanna do it. I wanted it to be from an authentic place because there's so many people out here just, you know, just trying to get numbers and things like that. And that really ain't my style. Like, I just want people to know who I am and find that real core audience of people like, you know what, I'll let me go to my Sierra's channel because I know that they're gonna be bringing the heat. You know, and only because it's coming from a genuine and real place because people just get so caught up on, you know, subscribers and numbers, which is cute. And don't get me wrong, it's beautiful thing but I mean if that's not what you want and that's not what you're trying to put out there or glamorize as that then don't do it because it's not meant for everybody and 
I'm just so thankful that people actually been enjoying my videos and sent me messages and, and things like that, you know, to really let me know how they feel and stuff like that. So, um, there's plenty more videos to come. Once again, thank you all. I really appreciate it. And thank you. You all have a good day. Bye.